Hello, my name is Sam, and welcome to another video talking about Tap Forms 5 for iOS and Mac. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to work on the iPad, and I've got my iPad here set up with an Apple Magic Keyboard, and we're going to use this to demonstrate how you can use Apple's Shortcuts application to integrate with Tap Forms 5 using the scripting interface. Now, the use case that I use this most for is barcode scanning, shipping, and receiving labels. And we're going to go through the very basic parts of that, and then in a later video, I'm going to follow up on uh, a much broader uh, script for manipulating uh, shipping records because, as we'll see at the end of this video, uh, scanning a barcode is a little harder than it may, may seem. So, to get started, we're just going to create a brand new form here. Uh, and we're going to call it shipping, and we're going to call this one tracking number, and we're going to add a ship date, which is when we shipped it, and we're going to add a receiving date, or received date. Uh, now, the full version of my form actually has a whole bunch of extra uh, items in it. There's alternate tracking IDs for handling when carriers uh, switch between different services. It has uh, a zip code extraction feature and you'll see how to, how I do that a little later. Uh, but for the moment, this is what our script, uh, our, our form looks like. And now I'm gonna need to create a script. So we'll just go, we're already on the form edit screen. So we'll go down to the bottom and we'll create a brand new script. And we'll call it deliver shipment. Okay, now we've got our standard tap forms boilerplate for when we create a brand new script. We've got our function, uh, it gets called here, and there's our hello world uh, example that anyone familiar with programming will have run into. Now, we need to create a brand new record in this form. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use the snippet tool uh, to create a record. And fortunately, right here, there is create record. So var new record equals form dot add new record. Uh, we want to set two things. The first thing is we want a uh, way of getting something from shortcuts into our script. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first is to use the clipboard. That's what I'm going to go with today because it's easy to test and great to work with. The second is actually you can name parameters in the URL string, and we'll cover that in a later video. Uh, but for this one, we're going to use the clipboard. Now, let's go look at the manual because I can never remember these things. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the utils section all the way at the bottom here. Okay, so we've got a bunch of really cool things. We can add stuff to calendars, create reminders. Uh, but the way we want is copy text from clipboard, which uh, doesn't ask for anything. So there's a none there, and it returns text, which is whatever text is on the clipboard. And it's got a handy little, dandy little thing that we can just copy here. So we'll copy that uh, and we will pop over here and we'll just say clipboard equals that. And we'll paste that from Safari. Now, if we return the clipboard here and we do run on this, so there's a little run button at the bottom here. Uh, It says utils.copy text from clipboard. Oh, because this is what's in my clipboard. Uh, I was confused for a second thinking that it might have uh, returned the wrong thing, but let's just copy clipboard to the clipboard. We'll hit paste, and we can see that clipboard is now clipboard. Okay, uh, so we can see that it's getting something from the clipboard, and as I copy around and run the script, uh, that updates with what we want. Okay, so our next step is we want to update some fields. So so, uh, there we go. We are going to click on this little icon at the bottom here with the lines. And we're going to, it says, gives us two options to insert get field value or field ID. Uh, we want tracking number, and we're going to go down and select that again. And we want to set receive date. Now, by default, this is a get, uh, and it sets it for record. Uh, and when you're working with uh, scripts normally for uh, script fields, this is actually what you want. In our case, we're creating a new record, uh, so we need to change this to be new record. 
and we'll change we, we don't want to set a variable here we just want to have the template so this becomes new record okay now both of these are get field values and perhaps we should have left the field name there so this one's receive date uh, both of these are get field values we want to swap them to be sets uh, because we want to set the value of this field now the first one was for the tracking number so we're going to set that to be the value of the clipboard and the other one, oh, new record, we're going to set to be today's date. So we'll just set that to new date. And we want to save. So we'll do our document.save all changes. Um, we'll hit save using our handy dandy keyboard shortcuts. And we will try this out and it should create a new record for us. So still returning deliver, uh, said we ran the script. We've already saved, so we'll just hit save again. And now when we have a look, there's a couple of, oops, there's a couple of uh, entries here, but we see that our deliver entry that was from our uh, copy buster, uh, clipboard, copy paste buffer, has been set and it's the receive date has been set to the current date so let's just delete all of these out swipe to delete one of the advantages of having hybrid input and now what we're going to do is flip over to shortcuts now shortcuts is has been built in it's built on the workflows tool that people might have used back in the day uh, and has been a part of uh, ios for a few releases now with iOS 14, they've redone how widgets work, and so now it's actually even easier than ever to use shortcuts to launch a shortcut. And what we're going to do here is we're going to scan a QR code or barcode, uh, and we're going to URL encode it so that uh, it can actually fit in a URL. We're not going to use that feature right now, but we're going to put it in there as best practice for a future video. We're going to also copy that to the clipboard. So we've got that on the clipboard for uh, what we're using today. Uh, and we're going to, and we missed a step here. Uh, we're going to add a text field. Oops. I drag that down to below there. And we're going to use uh, open x dash callback URL. Oops. There we go. Now, this is essentially the, the guts of the script, but we don't have a text here. We've skipped a step. So let's head back to tap forms. And when we edit uh, this script, there is an option to copy script link. So let's click on that and we'll cancel out of that. And we'll go back to shortcuts and we're going to put that in here. Now, this is a, a link that will allow you to open tap forms and execute this script. Uh, it uses this little script thing. It has the database identifier for the particular document you're working on. It has the form that we're working with, uh, and that's the shipping form. You'll have to take my word that that's actually what that is. And then it has deliver shipment as our script names. So it's important that you don't have scripts that are named the same for all of this to work. So again, top to bottom for this, we're going to scan a QR code, we're going to encode it, we're going to put it on a clipboard, uh, and you're going to see why that's important a little later. Uh, and then we've set this magic URL uh, that we got from TapForms, and we're going to open it using the scripting X callback interface. Now, let's hit play on that and give this a shot. Uh, you can see my uh, keyboard there and my slightly messy desk. Um, we've got our USPS shipping label and it didn't work. Um, why did that not work? Run script. So let's just debug this together. Interesting. So we can see here, so we've just gone in and run it. We can see here the the barcode, and you're actually, it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's hit save on that. 
Oh, it didn't update the UI. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Um, you can see here from uh, the tracking number that it isn't exactly the standard USPS tracking number. Uh, if you have a look, there's a percent one D here in the middle. And what's actually on the left hand side, this 420 is uh, a designator for the type of barcode that it is. 92069 is actually my postcode here in uh, San Marcos, California. Uh, and this is actually a little separator uh, that separates that part of the barcode from the actual tracking number. And this is why uh, having a script to filter and search for uh, tracking items is a little more complicated uh, than, than expected just because uh, the barcode isn't actually a completely clean barcode. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here because this is uh, the first cut of an end-to-end -end workflow where you have a form that we've just created in tap forms. We've created a script to automatically create a record based on the contents of the clipboard. And that means it'll work with anything that you can copy onto the clipboard. We've now created a, a shortcut that scans using shortcuts as uh, built-in QR code and barcode scanner, copies that to the clipboard, and then executes this script to go straight to tap forms five. Uh, you could cut that down uh, or change that flow to, to open up this in different ways. Obviously, if you don't want to use shortcuts, you can come directly into tap forms and use that uh, to paste. Uh, using the clipboard or script parameters is a very powerful way of quickly importing stuff into tap forms five when you're running on iOS. And that API is also available on the Mac, though obviously on the Mac you've got a few more options for, for working with stuff. If this video was interesting for you, please like it. Uh, if you have suggestions, comments, or um, questions about anything that was in this video today, please leave a comment. Uh, and if these videos have been interesting to you, I do them on an ad hoc basis, so it is very important that you subscribe so you can see the latest videos with tips and tricks for Tapform 5. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Sam, and I will see you on the next one.